Are you sitting on a treasure that could be worth a fortune? Today, we dive into the exciting world of valuable coins. There's this one incredible quarter from 1932 that was sold for a staggering $34,800. Can you imagine that? This little coin is a rare gem minted in San Francisco. But how can you tell if your quarter comes from the same mint? Don't you worry, we've got you covered. Get ready to uncover the secrets of the San Francisco Mint right here. Stay tuned, because you never know what treasures might be hiding in your pocket. It's time to increase your brand awareness and embark on an electrifying journey through the world of rare coins. So join us and let's strike gold together. Do you have a valuable quarter in this video that is rare? We'll talk about a rare 1932 quarter that fetched an astounding $34,800 for an A1 small quarter coin. So the San Francisco Mint produced this quarter in 1932. How can one tell if their quarter was made in the San Francisco Mint now? We'll demonstrate right now, though. You may notice a little mint mark in the bottom center of the coin if you turn it over to the back. This particular piece has a S mint mark, which stands for the San Francisco Mint. Which mint mark is present there now depends on where your currency was made. The Denver Mint's mint mark will be a sad while the Philadelphia Mint's mint mark will be a P or no mint mark at all. Therefore, if your coin lacks a mint mark, it was likely made at the Philadelphia Mint. The strange coloration that surrounds the coin's exterior is one of the first things you undoubtedly noticed about it. That is what is meant by toning. Toning naturally occurs as the metals in the coin oxidize in the air. Depending on how much a buyer is actually ready to pay, Toning like this might occasionally boost or lower the value of the coin. Consequently, 1932 is the first year they ever began, creating the Washington Quarter, which is one of the factors contributing to the coin's high value. The coin will still be worth much more than 25 cents, even if the grade is not as high, at a PCGS mint, say 66. For $34,800, this instance was sold. 